Hi there. My name is Anson Hidaja with Qdarba Software, here to show you our updated Electronic Signature Template Part, or XTP. We've added some great new features to this XTP, so let's dive right in. Firstly, we added a new Signature Admin feature, which lets you manage all of your signatures and pins from an easy-to-use, very convenient InfoPath form. Let me show you how it works. When you first load the form, it auto-detects who you are and populates your username. If you also wanted to add an entry for someone else uh, that's not yourself, you can absolutely go in and change this username if you wanted to. The second thing you want to do is you want to add your PIN. Then you want to retype the same PIN to verify. And last up, you need to go and add your signature. Now this signature could be any picture, it could be a logo, it could be a scan signature of your choosing. So go ahead and I'll attach that. Great, looks like everything is ready to go. I'll go ahead and I'll submit my signature. Looks like the signature is created, so now I'll just close my form. So submitting that form does two things. The first thing that it does is that it saves your signature to a picture library. So let's go take a look there. So my picture library is called Electronic Signatures. You can see here that the picture got saved to this Electronic Signatures picture library. The second thing that it does is that it also saves your PIN. So I also have a PIN list. And you can see this is my username. It also shows me my PIN. And uh, it, there's a GUID that gets associated with that too. You can also add some extra security if you don't want this information to be accessed by everyone in your company. You simply need to set up some workflow actions to set the proper permissions in SharePoint. Now let's see the signature XTP in action. So what I have here is I created a simple form. And all I did was I added the signature XDP in it and a title. All I need to do is I enter my PIN, and it will sign the form for me. Now, if I go and I try to sign it with a incorrect PIN, it'll give me an error. If I try to sign it with a username that's invalid, it will also give me an error. So I'll go ahead and sign it with the correct PIN. It uh, verified my PIN, it verified my username, so it goes in and it says it's signed uh, on this date, and it shows the signature from the picture library. Lastly, if I wanted to change my PIN, I could do so using the admin form. Let's go back to the admin form, and I can just open up the form. All I need to do is enter my current PIN, and then I can enter my new PIN, and then I can submit my new PIN. My password successfully changed. I'll close my form. And then if I go back into my PIN list, I can see that I updated my PIN from 1234 to 555. And there you have it, our electronic signature XDP. It also works in Office 365. In fact, this entire demo that you just watched was presented to you using Office 365. For more details on how to purchase this and detailed instructions on how to set it up, please visit our website at qdabra.com. Thanks for watching.